Hey everybody, I am on here today to do another review and I know my hair is not exactly gorgeous, but I'm not joking when I tell you that I was so excited about getting this product back from my office today that I thought I have to do this review today because I want to tell everybody about how awesome this is. Avino's not paying me to say this. Chick Advisor, who did send me this product, is not paying me to say this. In fact, there's no video requirement for the Chick Advisor review for this product. I just wanted to talk about it because it's so exciting. And if you have eczema, this is another answer besides the CeraVe cream that I talked about a couple of years ago. But when I find a product that's really good for eczema, I definitely want to tell everybody about it because I know how uh, frustrating and anxiety provoking eczema can be as well as painful. So this is the eczema pardon me, the Aveeno Eczema Care Itch Relief Balm. This is the Canadian version, so if you're in the States, it's probably going to say eczema therapy. I don't know that we can use the word therapy on our products here in Canada, which is why it got switched over to care. This can be found at Walmart in the States for $17. Now don't all fall on the floor and die because this product is really worth it. Look at the amount that you get in here. It's a huge, huge amount and a little goes a long, long way. So let's talk a little bit about this. We already are. Let's talk a little more about this. I'm such a weirdo. All right, so see this stamp on here? It says, Eczema Society of Canada Accepted. And the American version also has this on there for the American Eczema Association or whatever it is called over there. This is something that you want to look for when looking for an eczema product. Now we all know I've tried probably a dozen eczema products and they may have this stamp but it doesn't mean that they work really really well. This product works to beat the band, honestly. So if you're in Canada or even in the States and you want to find out about more products that might have a stamp like this, then you would go to eczemahelp.ca and you probably find a listing of items that are available in Canada that are approved. So this is, they say here, no greasy feel and steroid free, hypoallergenic, fragrance free, paraben free. There's no scent whatsoever. Um, steroid free, that kind of freaked me out when I saw that because I didn't know there were steroids in eczema products. I was not aware of that. Does it, and it also says no greasy feel, but I'm going to tell you right now, this has a greasy feel to it, okay? That's the one thing that I don't like about it. The only one thing that I don't like about it. This is how thick the product is. I mean, I can sit here and dump it and go crazy, but nothing is going to happen whatsoever. It's not going to dump. It is very greasy, but you only need probably like that much, okay? And you put it on your hands or you put it on the eczema spot that you've got that's kind of making you crazy and itching. And within five minutes, that itch is going to be totally gone. And I can say that because I have some really nasty eczema on this finger right here. I'm going to insert a before and after picture where you can see how bad my finger got before I started using this product and after three days of use, what my finger looked like. And then I want you to take that second after picture and think of it as a before picture now, okay? So I'm gonna insert the before and after pictures right here. Now that last picture that you saw, think of it as a before picture because this is my finger after two weeks of use. You see that? There's hardly anything. There's a little wee bit down here, but that big crater that you may have seen is gone. Most of this is right just gone. It's fantastic stuff. I love, love this stuff. And it's really, really good for cold weather. My hands are not chapped whatsoever. Um, and it can get to minus 35 Celsius where I live. It is really, really cold where I live in the winter. So this product is amazing. I love it. I didn't have any itch after five minutes of use. The only thing, like I said, is it's quite greasy. But let's take a look at the ingredients, shall we? So the non-medicinal ingredient is colloidal oatmeal, which I am not positive as to what that is, but I know somebody's going to tell me down below. And then we have uh, non-medicinal ingredients, which I will read off to you. Let's see here. Oats. 
uh, kernel extract, a vena sativa, which is also oat, uh, kernel, that's the kernel oil from the, from the oat, so we have oats and oat kernel oil, sorry, uh, benzoic acid, benzyl alcohol, everything has alcohol in it. If you're going to not use a product because it has alcohol in it, then you're really not going to have too many things left to use. Caprylic, yep, I said it right, caprylic uh, triglyceride, ceramide NP, sidereal alcohol, cetyl alcohol, more alcohol, citric acid. Oh, oh, I know some of you don't like dimethicone, but it's in here. Uh, dipotassium phosphate. Oh, this is going to be really, really fun. You ready for this? Ethyl hexylglycerin. Glycerin. That's two separate things, just so you know. Uh, isocetyl alcohol. P anisic acid. Potassium phosphate. Sodium cedral sulfate. Sodium hydroxide and steric acid and water. And I practiced a few of these things before I said them, so I wouldn't sound like a complete doofus. But anyhow, this is a seriously good product. I would definitely recommend this product for anybody who has some bad eczema. Um, I would recommend this product to anybody that has, like, wind-chapped hands. Because here's another really good benefit about this. You know when you go outside in the winter and your hands do get really chapped and then you put hand cream on your hands and your hands just suddenly burn and get these little red spots all over them? This is not going to happen with the Aveeno Eczema Care Itch Relief Balm or Eczema Therapy Itch Relief Balm. It won't happen with that. Uh, I have a friend who always has that happen to her and she put it on and we waited and watched because she was like, oh my god, it's going to burn and it didn't burn at all. So she was quite happy with that. But the greasy feeling is going to last for a long time. Uh, I would recommend using this at night. You know those moisture gloves that people use? That would be a really, really good idea with the, uh, with the Eczema Care Balm because it's so greasy that you may end up staining your clothing. I know that at work when I use it, the cleaner made a comment about there was marks all over my desk and that was because I had this stuff on and I was touching everything and everything I touched left a mark. But that doesn't mean that it's not worth it. Those are just a couple of little points. It's just the one point, the greasy point that I didn't like about it. But I would definitely buy this again in a heartbeat. I probably will buy it again. To me, it is just as good as the CeraVe cream. The only difference is that the CeraVe cream is not greasy and it's a few bucks cheaper, but I think you need less of this because of the greasy issue. It probably lasts a lot longer. Like I'll have to use CeraVe cream maybe five or six times a day. And with that, I only need to use it three times a day at the most. Anyhow, I do hope you enjoyed this video. I'll come back with another review soon and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.